So, this is it. Really simple, really clean. Two buttons, two options. You can either share content or you can spot content. We hooked up our API to the Foursquare API, so you get venues where you can just leave stuff for others to find anywhere later on at a certain time. If you narrow it down, it's just using your cell phone to upload content for others to download at that same physical location. But we want to try to make content context aware. For example, this is Acapulco. I went there uh, while we were traveling in Mexico, took a picture, but I found out it was really hard to take like the right sunset picture here. Uh, but finally, when I got the settings right, aperture, uh, my share time, I felt like this is good because I see 100 other people struggling to take this picture. Why can't I not leave a document here that they can actually learn, don't have to struggle and take the right picture a lot faster? Also, music you want to listen to with your girlfriend, you can now like, share a YouTube link with the right romantic music for, to enjoy the sunset in the right setting. So, how does it work? You pick your spot, you pick your file, you upload it there, and you share it with your friends. That's also where the traction is coming from. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter, email, and left it there where people can also just look for it once they're there. Uh, you probably all want to know whether or not this is live, yes or not. It is. So this is a movie we shot just a couple of hours ago. This is spot. I'm choosing here to share a file, pick my spot, in this case pick a photo, and since we're on the startup bus team, why not upload a startup bus picture there? You can name it, but for the sake of time we're gonna do it like this. Upload finished, and now we can look it up, and it will be there for everybody to see. So spot of the startup bus picture will be forever at this location. First picture we upload. And the guy who made it all, because we, I must say, we are, we are a four-person team with only one developer, no mobile experience, we did it, we just saw him, it's Benjamin, wow. he's like, you made this happen, we're just telling the story here. But we also met Samir. Samir was the first user, he just heard what we were doing, and he said, dude, what's this, is it live? Can I check? And he did, uploaded the picture of his dog, not really relevant for the location, <laughs> but just to prove that it works. <laughs> so, some figures, we're live. Uh, iPhone app coming up. We need we need iPhone developers. So if you want to you want in on this hustle, because we're gonna continue whether or not what's happened to go, what's happening today. Uh, oh sorry, let me go back quickly. Uh, Spot for business is coming up. That's where our business model is coming from. I'll come back to that in a second. We have also uh, the 3.0 stage where we basically will. will. <laughs> This is the business model. I'm not going to get into that into detail right now, but you can see it online. So it's there for everybody to see, for everybody to comment, and for everybody to like improve or say what you think. What is the business model? What you, <laughs> you can you can see it there. But I'm going to say two things. So we have two customer segments: basically businesses and everybody else. Uh, the one thing is important for consumers: it's free. We need traction, and if you want businesses and tools, people should be sharing. People should have access to this extra load, this file. So, if you want to download it, do it now, bit.ly slash spot that download, where you can find the app. Only for Android right now, we're working on iPhone. For businesses, we have a really simple model. Basically, for $100 or $200, you get to create your own virtual spot. So you can upload your logo, create your house style, uh, and share your company presentation, share your menu if you're in a hotel, share your, uh, the, the venue that's coming up, that kind of stuff. Uh, grow expectations. Can you talk to businesses about that uh, price? Yeah, we have actually here in Austin the first ones, which is not ready to offer them that kind of specification, but there was a price that seemed really fair for them to at least start trying and whether or not it's going to get more expensive or cheaper, we're going to see. This is uh, basically how we expect things will grow. So we're going to start off with 100. We just sent out uh, a list to all our subscription uh, to people who subscribe to our website. We have already 80 people now downloading from Indonesia to here, so we can track, like, see pictures go from beer bottles and bars and everywhere. So it's really cool to be live and see this actually happening. Uh, and you can see the conversion figures we used and we expect when we're going to grow. This is just uh, what we have now. So opening, and actually, I got Indonesia just right now. But this is where the app is being downloaded now and where pictures are being uploaded already on different spots. So that's it. This is my team. Benjamin, Victor, Hector and me and bit.ly slash spot. So we took out the dash as we heard on the first day we were here. And uh, we're going to be connecting the online and offline world. Thank you very much.
explain a little bit more about not the user who uploads the file, but the other users who are going to discover how that actually works? So is it only friend-to-friend -friend connection, or can anybody discover who hits that spot? How does that work? Well, I think that's the difference uh, you know, with, with, for example, sharing a, sharing a file that with other location-based stuff. So this is public. Everybody can see it. So, for example, if I were to have a restaurant and I would upload my menu there, or what's, 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 what's happening next week, uh, it would be publicly available for everybody. You don't need an application yourself to uh, have some cool stuff, a cool spot to do it. Yeah, the pinwheel just launched. Uh, Same way, pinwheel, P-I-N. Yeah, we were on a bus for 72 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just check. But that's good, that's next. No, oh, there's no internet, right? It's, 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 no, but it's, no, we didn't know. So we're going to check that. Okay. Yeah. So it's a cool concept and a uh, cool name. I like the idea of marrying uh, location and fostering. It's a nice little twist. I'm surprised you didn't talk at all about security as an application for this. Like, there are a lot of organizations that spend a lot of effort on physical security. I think South by Southwest is a good example. The TSA would the door outside from what I can tell. Yeah. Um, but a lot of organizations spend a lot of time on physical security, and if you can marry file security to that, that probably has some applications that escape me at the moment, but some internet secure corporate sharing stuff. Anything there? Yeah. Well, this is Benjamin, who, uh, who built it all. Benjamin slept one hour last night, just trying to get this first setting up. Of course, we've been thinking about security, but so far we've just not been able. This is like what, what was called the minimal viable product that we could launch right now with a, a one development uh, man team. Uh, but we're of course working on that. We've already, I, from previous startups, I have experience in how important security is. It was in the mobile payment business, so how you want to secure data, people's profiles, that kind of stuff. So it is on the list, but we cannot do it right now. So, so what are your backgrounds? Yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm from Mexico. I have a company, and I'm like all the way into startups. But you're, but you're a developer. He's a developer. Okay. And yeah, two designers and something resembling business and actually some other stuff. Cut it a bit. All right. Thank you very much. Nice. Cool. Thank you very much.